love that. A lovely color play. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. And you get, you got five cards. Hello, my beautiful friends. Let me show you those cute little abstract greeting cards. No cost, super easy. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make those backgrounds all in one go. Four cards, even more, in one time. I do regret that I haven't recorded this process video and honestly I was just playing around, testing it out, not thinking, not planning of what I'm actually doing. So today we're going to try to recreate, I'm going to show you uh, how I played around with this uh, watercolor paper because it started all with this watercolor paper. This is A4 size watercolor paper, it's thick, it's a great surface to start with because you can glue stuff down and you can paint it right away so honestly you can do whatever you like basically my suggestion is to try to think about some sort of color palette that would suit you and I think for today's cards uh, for today's background I'm gonna jump in with a kind of color palette that it will be much mutual no neutral <laughs> Nut natural N -n -n Ugh. do you know what I mean it's gonna be palette that will be just easy on ice um, on everyone so it's gonna be kind of vintagey kind of neutral natural like brownish creamy maybe some sort of colors of uh, like here some kind of like delicate pastels I don't know I am using old book pages old book music pages and also some lovely scrapbook papers because why not I also think it is great to use to use um, on these projects things that maybe you not necessarily know how to use or you have too many or papers that you don't like necessarily you know you know everyone is different we might have different kind of ideas so I suggest you to place your elements kind of build a beautiful composition that afterwards we will decide where we're gonna cut and all and how they're gonna match up together however they do not have to match all these gorgeousness papers I mean cards they don't have to match but they will naturally they absolutely will match and they're gonna they're gonna make a great lovely collection selection of uh, cards and if you're thinking for sale that's awesome I think because you can sell them in batch of four for example or you can just give them away and that's what I will be doing having cards that are so plain in a way because they will just go for either older person my neighbor a friend my mom like anyone can have a card of this kind like if you really look at it it's abstract I'm not too sure if it's finished finished because like I have added some doodles around here I didn't hear so honestly I left it at that because I was thinking I love it as it is but let's see if the the next project if this one is gonna be different so I'm adding just papers and we will be painting as well because I think it's fabulous if we can uh, use as many different mediums as we can some acrylic paints maybe some watercolors maybe some markers maybe some crayons whatever you have in the studio you know I think it's a easy way to make something pretty because you will make it pretty like it will just be pretty it, it just will I promise you if you will use palette that it's not crazy all over the place but you're gonna focus on making it uh, pleasing for eyes and that's my idea so I'm filling the gaps right now with different papers so this is like a great idea for a starting point I think this is fabulous just to begin with my starting point here as well in these cards was where uh, all the book pages and also this packing paper which has a beautiful pattern uh, but because you may not have this paper I figured I'm gonna go for something that most people might have, like yourself. So I really wish you to be able to follow those sort of steps um, because everyone has old book pages and some scrapbook paper that is similar. So I figured that's what I'm gonna do for today's project. I'm covering bits and pieces here and there and that's okay, that's, you know, that's okay, that's fine. I am also thinking that it would be lovely, oh look, we also have this background paper which is like, um, like different, why not, look at that, 
and we just jump in with that. I'm also thinking to make these um, maybe with some more doodles, maybe with some more paints, but our beginning of this it's just a starting point where we have our elements, we have our background, we have our base and then we can decide oh I like that, oh I love this, oh this is what I'm gonna do. My next point and um, thing I'm gonna do I will cover everything with clear gesso. Do you have to do it? No, you don't, but I will do it at least a bit because that will give me a tooth to sort of work uh, on top of these papers. My, glue, my, my gesso is nearly gone and I can paint all over, I can doodle, I can spray some paint, I can do whatever. So I like to prime these because the paint will not, won't sink in basically it will actually hold into your uh, project, into your pages. So I like that idea. So let's cover this up with a gesso and let's dry it. I gathered a few paints. I have some uh, art and hobby paint, um, hybrid acrylic, some other chalk acrylic, some regular acrylics, but they all kind of in the beige browny color scheme. I have some brown crayons. Look, we're gonna start somewhere because that's what I always think. You have to start somewhere so the idea is to squeeze out some paint and it's not working so maybe I'm just gonna open this all up I haven't been using acrylics for quite some time I have to say so I would not be surprised if if uh, even the color is not <laughs> mixed well enough or something um, basically I'm gonna just add blobs of color in a few places and that's it like I'm not bothered of where it's going and stuff like that because you know, things will be changing as we will be creating, I guess. So, there we go. Oh, that's a very alike color, actually. It is nearly too much alike, so let's just maybe move on to the next one. Let's see this one. This seems to be more, uh, I'm, um, yeah, more kind of browny, not brown, pinky. Oh, I love that. Let's see what we can do with this one. The squeaking floor is my mm, husband. He is working on the other sa side of the studio. <laughs> and he's moving around. So if you hear the squeaking floor, that's him. <laughs> um, wow, I love that. I love that. Um, I think filling the background like this, it's a process of... It depends what you really wish this to be. Whether you would like to focus your energy on the painting part or doodling part or gluing part. I don't know. Whatever works, I guess, best for you. I'm going to add some white as well. And I think I may just jump in for... How about if we jump in just for um, watercolor color? Watercolor color or this, this creamy one. That could be lovely. Let's see what will happen. Uh, it's going to be obviously weird when we have acrylics going together with watercolors. It can be just interesting. But only when we start cutting down everything, uh, this is where the part of interesting will start. I'm kind of going vertical lines, horizontal, filling the colors, filling the gaps just to see how this is. There we go. Here and there, here and there. I'm trying to think if I can grab some other color, like how about this yellow? We could have a touch of yellow as well. You know, why not? You do. You can do doodles, you can do... Um, <laughs> you can do doodles, you can do um, some... Uh, drawings you can do some stamping you can we can do that we shall see what we're gonna do um so i'm just adding blobs of color how about jumping in with this pinkish hybrid color as well it probably will be very alike exactly very alike to this one but that's good as well because oh it's different it's very alike but it's different and that's good because when we will be cutting the 
the elements it's important for us that there are gonna be elements on the card that it's matching this part like you see there is um, let's say this green here the same as here then we have this reddish dark dark reddish color here and is it there it's not but you have the same colors of the pa the paper the the packing paper so you know it's important to have some things that are together and uh, that they matchy matchy and they will just correspond then to well with each other and on their on its own uh, as well so i'm just drawing the figure of sort of um of the square square rectangle sort of thing let's see looking good i love that what do you know what you could do as well you can just decide that maybe you wish for some lines of this kind somewhere just to see you can do the same here there we go maybe here oops there we go so it's really it's really down to your own preferences how you would like to paint that background but as I mentioned it's it's good that the same colors are corresponding corresponding <laughs> corresponding <laughs> corresponding on different ends and edges of of the paper now try to see this pink no. maybe wouldn't that be nice to have there was this brown well we have this brown but there was this how about we just jump in with some brown watercolors just have to make sure that our brush is clean uh, without any disturbance let's see what will happen Ooh, that's nice and we can just wash have this kind of wash going on let's see I love that wow that's gorgeous we can do very alike thing I think it would be nice to turn around let's move these aside just for now just they won't get dirty or anything what I could suggest is turn around your project as well and just try to paint on your project I'm going on the wet paint and I'm going on acrylics and I'm going on watercolor so the color that I'm currently <laughs> using it's like you don't know what's that really because it's um it's a mixture in between all these colors and some of the colors are reacting with my current brush so I think it's interesting to see you know there we go wow it is so different wow <laughs> wowie okay let's see oh no i grabbed some purple by accident can i lift this please <laughs> can i lift this purple off the page i hope i can still let's see well let's grab the mm, brown one here because that was my idea to have the brown one so easy peasy and now let's have this wishy-washy going there we go there we go going to that background to that uh, that um, square wow I love it I love it how about there we go just filling elements my page is dry and I think we could add a little bit of white gesso and how about adding white gesso with the finger actually so we can have a little bit of a play in a different kind of way in a different way I love I adore adding white gesso because it's like this ball it's like this something that is really helping me to um, 
I don't know, blend in everything, make everything happy with each other. White, it's a great little tool. Don't be afraid of white. Get it if you feel like you need one. Uh, you can add to so many moments in the projects while making it. I, white can often help out. White, white can save your project. White can rescue it. Can just put a different perspective. White, it's a great answer. I love it. I really love white. Now, so we have added it in a few places just to have it. You can repeat it if you feel like it dry and it's not as um, not as white as it could be. <laughs> there we go. And I think it's just giving us this extra uh, touch. Oh, you can do some line maybe. Um, same for here. How about adding it here? Mm -hmm. I somehow I just feel that maybe this could be nice. Love that. Mm -hmm. Adding in the where the dark is, the blackish brownish color was. I like that. Okay. Maybe here as well. Lovely 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 now next could be a little bit of doodles how about if we just follow the lines a little bit and just have a tiny play like that just follow follow the lead of the color and see Hmm. Now, what we could also do is grab a brush and just gently add the color, the white, the wet, the water onto our pen and dissolve it a little bit and just make it more arty here. We can even push the color more just to see. Same for here, dissolve a little bit. There we go. I think we can still play around and add and add some gluing, more gluing, I think, like add some other um add some other maybe papers on top. I think we're gonna do that, so wait and see. That's nice. That is actually super nice. No. I'm kind of adding these lines really guess it's a guess a little bit, you know. Uh I, I don't have much of a recipe of where I'm placing it. It's a little bit where the color meets and all just to see what will happen. But there's no a certain like way of doing it. It's more like how it feels to you. There we go. There we go. I like that. I love that and I love the pen that is just giving us this extra there we go this extra something going on extra interest I guess super awesome lovely we can add it here as well in here possibly I added water everywhere where that pen was because it is just lovely movement now, super. It is looking different right now, am I right? Just a little different. How about a little bit of brown? I don't know if this brown will match. Have a look. That could be nice. Mm, let's see. What about if we just jump in with a little bit of that brown? But we will turn the page around and just see. If we can actually dissolve that with water and see. Mm, I'm not a fan of that shade, to be honest. Same for this one. I think I'm more into darkish kind of colors more than anything. Yeah, I'd say so. But because it's there, I think we're just making sense to add it somewhere as well. Just so 
if 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 it's gonna catch someone's eye attention on that particular segment of the design the color is there and it's corresponding with some other cards so let's keep it this way okay okay I'm not attached to that color no I'm not but that's okay no oh we can add it here so if not this how about some of our forever loved ink tents how about this one let's see what will be here and this is why it was so good to have your gesso on top because you can just play around oh I much more prefer this color this one is the dark chocolate because it is really going in the color similar to our pink it's like dark chocolate but it's in this pinkish zone in this pinkish shade you know there we go lovely jovely we can do this as well something like that now it's interesting to see that some parts of the design because everything is still pretty much wet obviously um, everything can just still react with each other it's interesting to see how much this is happening I love the colors I love 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 what's going on right now how about yeah how about adding that this is that grayish color ink tents as well um, I think it could be really nice addition let's see I love that wow so pretty wow okay let's focus Marta on keeping it on one side so I'm gonna change that and go back with the color and having the shade going on on one side only which is gonna be here I think so and then we could do how about a touch of here and a lovely color play here I love the shading shading shadowing I I like that very much so okay so that's that then how about we're gonna add stuff in here turn it around have a look at that I, I am keep on turning things around and it is really changing its look its direction and all oh wow look at these colors I adore it and I'm using dirty water if you if you see properly <laughs> the water isn't clean it's it's dirty and it's okay I'm repeating a little bit of maybe I'm gonna grab a clean clean one this time just so we have more of a this darkish grayish greeny color oh wow I love it let's have this one here I think I'm gonna follow there we go <laughs> that is interesting okay wow I love it now super I guess we could add some of that color maybe here something like that same for here there we go super and how about a little here there we go love that okay I think voila I think we are some getting somewhere we're getting somewhere something <laughs> 
Um, how about using this brown one as well? This is my favorite that I have used for so long. It's the chip, chip uh, the back color. I wanted to say chip back, but no, it's the back color. It's similar to chocolate actually. Let's do a little bit of doodling, just a little bit. Everything is still pretty much wet, but that's okay as well. I'm gonna just go for doodling around those sort of a certain areas where we have those really striking lines. So back to my pinkish uh, squares and rectangles. I just posted uh, a picture of this on my community tab on YouTube. Uh, because I love doing work in progress and sharing work in progress. Uh, I, I think my my actual hand is when I'm um, having the line with this pen Pilot G-Tech, I'm like right away having a brush in my hand thinking for um, diluting the, the pigment. So it's like, I don't know, I think it's in my jeans right now. <laughs> That's what I do. I cannot wait guys to start doing Christmas crafts. Tell me if you have started. I haven't. Not even one bit. No, I lied. I did one bit. Here is my trial today. A quick one. Um, so, very soon. Obviously it's gonna be on Marry Me Simple Craft. If you're curious about watercolor Christmas craft, it's gonna be on the other YouTube channel that I have and started a few months ago so you must check it there let's doodle around and link is of course in the descriptions if you're not sure how to find it um, and a lot of gorgeous watercolor actually I'll show you and recent my favorite on the other channel is this tulip painting I just adore it to, adore it to bits like it's my new favorite for sure so let's do a little bit of like let's go Let's go with doodles. Let's do a little bit of that. And same for here. I must text my niece because I think she she must have started her first year in college, so I need to ask her how it was. So I may text her today and I'll text my sister as well. Guys, text your loved ones, you know. Just, just do. Um, we are, well, at least I am so sometimes lazy in terms of, I do it tomorrow, I do it tomorrow. And you push it for some other time. I think it's good not to push it for other time, you know. Oh, I love this look. It's like this, those lines, those dotty kind of things, they're becoming like a part of the project because of this pen that it's like happening to be next to them it's just gorgeous I love it look it's it's just a different feel to it now um, I think our next step could be adding a little bit of text on top in a few places I'm not saying everywhere I'm saying in a few places, possibly cover up. Uh, you may think, Marta, why? I don't know why, but I'm, I feel that for some places I'm going to do it. Like, for example, here, look, there's this kind of empty uh sort of area that, you know, it could be lovely to just have it like this. Voila, and I think it is matchy, matchy well. Same for here, we could have this one go in there, maybe half of it or small, smaller bit of it. There we go. Let's have this one in here. And how about checking it again and see if this uh, pretty piece could match up somewhere or maybe uh, uh, upside down or whichever. Sure, why not? I think so. Let's just have a look and it could go I think with these things it's a little bit of a trial sort of thing I think it's lovely because you see it right now when it's done as a full background wait till we start cutting it it's gonna be really different feeling to these this project altogether it's gonna be just so different now we need a little extra more glue. There we go. 
I did it like that, but I'm not too sure. Oh, maybe. Maybe actually like this. Oh, I love that. I love that. Now, how about this text? Or a tiny touch of this text. Oh, I love it there. Filling the gap somehow, something. I love it there. So, it's the same. It's text. It's like, But it's not the same. Like, it is not. <laughs> I think we could add it there, absolutely. It's an interesting process of work in progress. It's, it's really a process where you just give these elements a chance to collaborate with each other. And it takes time to come up with all these what could be nice with each other. I think I love it. And in the camera this looks so beautiful I love that now turn it around Marta have a little look differently have a different perspective on it mm -hmm. Wow I think I'm gonna go for this one here I think so definitely Wow Wow <laughs> Um, what about this paper thing that we have, we played already? No. No, it's just no. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's no. What about a music note? Oh, I love this maybe there and what I love about it is that it's kind of making this way more interesting way more unique and way more difficult to actually recreate reproduce it back like do it again I love that it's very grayish there so how about if we add up a little bit of that color of the Oh, oh, wait a second. This is going to be nice, I think. Let's see where. No, I, I had this, but maybe actually it would be nice here. And maybe like this. Wow, it's, it's really interesting to see how these things are placed and how how a tiny detail and tiny placement can change this all together, right? Oh, I love this there. Oh, lovely. Now, I'm gonna move it there on this side. Oh, wow. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. <laughs> Is it hot, my hot glue gun, or not? No, it's not. Oh, it's not. But I will put it in the... Yeah, I will put some... There we go. And we're gonna just glue it down with the hot glue gun. So what else, guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I think one of the things that would be so awesome is to do a little bit of this kind of doodles that are um, freelance doodles <laughs> freelance doodles no there's not such a thing Marta but doodles that are like freedom of doodles you know um, oh, I like that let's see oh that was wet that's okay We could try this naturally or we could try it with finger or whichever. I'm also thinking wouldn't that be nice to have um to have a white I'm sorry that I'm sp speaking this like because I think this is very much um 
intuitive process in here that I have and I just think it, it needs to be as well like sometimes the way as I speak about my work I, I in this case I'm not necessarily know how to teach you stuff because it's not something I do every day but it just feels right and this particular project just feels right and whatever I'm doing it just I just like it but again everyone is different and we all could have different feelings about it turn it around upside down and what about some white doodles or differently Mm, I have been using these pen. Oh, there we go. What about? I don't know if this would work, but we could try. Uh. Oh, no! It did. It, it was writing with a black one, but indeed with the white. It somehow does not happen. I don't know why is that, to be honest. Uh, we could do white splashes indeed. Or how about if we're gonna grab a brush, but a clean brush, Marta, a clean brush. Let's grab that ink here and see if we could have a little bit of white whitening color going on. Like just so more like a wash than anything. Oh, I love this. Oh, wow, we. Oh, wow. I just love white in general. It is giving me this peaceful feeling, you know. There we go. So pretty. And it is different to to the uh, to gesso, I think. Let's do some sparkle, uh, sparkle, splashes, not sparkles. Splashes. Oh, I love this. A touch of that white, more like, um, like a touch, really, exactly. Let's clean it off, making sure that it's clean when we dip it in oh time to pick up Hannah from school now question is are we doing some more doodles of our black pen or are we happy with what's going on here because mind we could go overboard too much and we don't want that either mm -hmm. I'm just kind of following the steps and just to see where is this leading me. I think with the doodles as well, uh, for some people it's such a natural thing, doodles. For me it never was. I have my own way of doodle, like <laughs> horizontal or vertical lines for example, but that's something that I'm naturally like gifted, I think. I'm gonna add just this hot glue gun here because yeah, this will hold it better. For whatever reason, this does not wish to be held, so let's help it out. Our next step is to cut these into smaller squares, like for this card. So this was like all together. Um, so let's try, let's see how are we gonna do it. I'm gonna just measure it from that card. So let's say I have this card. So I somehow wish to have it smaller. So here and finishing here. So possibly this could be quite a good sizing to be honest. So I may just leave it as it is like that. And I'm gonna do the same now. Let's see, let's measure it. Lovely, jovely. And I'm gonna measure this as well again the same way. There we go. Oh, approximately like this. Now they are not evenish 100%. Uh, they won't be evenish 100% squares, but they're gonna be even enough. So I guess I'm gonna just measure this now in half to see so if this is 21 so let's say we're gonna go for 10 and a half roughly 
uh, it's somewhere here so ten and a half would be our kind of middle part of that card something like this super awesome and same for this one oops I could have <laughs> measured this as well so let's do it like this ah, just around it is ten and a half here actually as well there we go so we have four of these but we're not done yet cuz we could do probably a fifth card but before that let's see how this looks oh I love it <gasps> I look at this how gorgeous I just realized that I don't have four of these but I have the cream version so let's see if we if we will love the creamy version as well could be nice maybe better I think it would be nice because there's already creamy color in there so oh wow it's so different right oh my glue it is so different honestly I love it do I love more with brown I like it with brown as well I have to say i be honest I love it with brown as well I think there was only there was eight but I I must have used some of them oh two oh I may have two of these two of these two brown two cream and then do you know what you could also do with this leftover thing first of all you can cut it in smaller section for example like well have a think grab a paper and see if you cut it smaller like here mm, let me think oh, I know let's cut half, ten and a half and see what will happen something like that and then this one in half how cute is that gonna be now ten and a half and Ooh. let's see imagine this and that ah oh, I love it I love it even more oh my OMG now do you know what one second so we have this one I'm gonna actually <laughs> I'm gonna cut it ten and a half smaller from this one and I'm gonna just put them together in my no not ten and a half well it doesn't matter look I'm gonna do let's say what let's see I'm gonna do seven and a half oops oh no way the paper is obviously very thick so of course it is that it is becoming harder and harder and you have to be firmly firm firm <laughs> with it and no I'm gonna just use maybe scissors for, for that one and that, that's okay okay one second so we have this I just cut it smaller no this was original no I don't know which one was I love it where's that one? Oh yeah it's there sorry so imagine ah <gasps> this is so cool so I cut it this one I think I don't know which one actually it doesn't matter look guys it is just so gorgeousness the idea of having these separated don't you think it is just amazing I love it so these two are perfect so I may <laughs> I may just I'm sorry for the noises it's my husband like it's just a husbandito doing all these noises seven and a half we do here I'm gonna do seven and a half here as well and just to see just to see what will happen here and let's see I can't believe it these noises sorry <laughs> about that <gasps> imagine that or like this being just wow wow we or we just give it an, another one and we just have this together oh I love it so much <gasps> I'm serious I just adore these and the last one we cut it as well 
and at the seven and a half I guess you could cut it we could cut it like that and we could use maybe this one <gasps> this is so gorgeous and you get you got five cards but do you know what we could do we could even have like this little element that could be holding these together oh I love that I'm so sorry if you can hear all these noises oh, Lucas is packing stuff and he's just I wanted to say nosy <laughs> but he's noisy <laughs> okay I I don't know if I love it or not I don't know yet I have to think about this but I'm gonna have these three more just so we have a chance to decide imagine that now wow <gasps> I love it I glue down these three cards I love them as they are honestly I'm thinking of maybe possibly not adding this little element I, I won't add it I'm gonna keep them like that because I think this could be our future project next one imagine if we could cut these um, into different shapes and instead of having two elements we could have six elements we could have nine elements sky is the limit we could really decide and mix and match and have all these lovely elements with each other on the cards I think this is such a gorgeous selection of cards and if you ever consider selling some cards I think this is such a wonderful way because first of all I think the cards are really artistic Lucas Shh, please <laughs> Ginny Mac he's really loud I don't know if you can hear that but it's it's I feel it's really loud first of all it's very artistic second of all it's quite freedom and it's quite cheap in a way as well to make these cards however they look very to me they look very arty they look very expensive they look very gorgeous I mean seriously I, I honestly like look at them I don't know which I love more whether it's the mm, brown cardboardish back or the cream I don't know I love them all I honestly think I, honestly as always when I was making the back and I was like yeah it's nice yeah hopefully something lovely will come up from it but seeing this cut this way seeing this on the background uh, now assembled and all I think it's just gorgeousness now I'm not going to be adding anything else you could add for example let's say take this one you could add I don't know congratulations here or you could add it here just for fun you could add it like that you could add like here you could have these elements or few of them oh oh wow look imagine that now one here one here and this is even nicer kind of uh, idea for abstract greeting card look at it this is gorgeousness like you have to say it you have to admit it I can only imagine as well one second look at this I don't know how this even ca came to my mind but imagine these being added somewhere like that then these on top not even straight but quite even like if look you can even do like this and have this one going on like that I don't know oh wow like this is so beautiful I will I think I'm gonna go for this one like that you can also add a black one let's see this just came to my mind now but honestly when we think about abstract when we think about something arty I think this is one of these ways of making something looking quite special quite unique I don't know if I pulled too much of these going away oh my my I love it I think it is so pretty and I'm I'm gonna just have this one like that I will because it is so gorgeousness and it's just um, I think it's really more arty look I don't know maybe it's just me but I just feel that it's like more arty looking that it's giving us this extra interest like 
like in the art gallery you have these assemblage art pieces and you'll be looking at them thinking what do they look like and that's exactly how I feel about this piece like wondering about it and thinking what do I see here you know <laughs> Am I going too far with my imagination? Possibly as well, but I just think it's so beautiful. It, it is just so gorgeousness. Oh, look at it. Wow. Now, your, um, well, you have to tell me, your opinion means so much and you, I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Like, do you like the extra elements being added? Do you prefer the basic and simple? Do you think we could have added the congratulations or, I don't know, birthday wishes maybe? Your opinion is super important let me know because we could do it in the future and honestly i would love to hear from you as well your thoughts would you like a variation of these uh, projects of these cards would you like more abstract greeting cards in a different way coming up with different ideas i love it because we have cards we have paints we have no cost kind of and we have a freedom and we have are journaling in it honestly I'm actually gobsmacked and you can even go more from that imagine doodling extra little elements for example you jumping in because you have your elements now you can even go and just doodle around like that and just be free in it and differentiate these from like honestly sky is the limit you can do whatever it feels right wow i'm gonna finish at this note i'm so proud of these cards i really hope people will click on this video because i think sometimes the great ideas are really uh, not seen enough and i think this could be unfortunately one of them and i hope not so to help me please leave me some comment on these videos on this um greeting cards video it's super important because the more people will engage with the video the more people will actually hear about it because youtube will show it to others so let me know your thoughts honestly i cannot wait to hear from you and also funny enough do you prefer these color combos these here or do you like the original brownish color selection i'm gonna say pink because i'm not brown per se person i do love this set but i think i'm most definitely loving this one i just adore these colors i mean seriously it is so beautiful wow let me know guys I hope you like this one. I really hope you like this one. Okay, happy card making, happy painting, and I'll speak to you soon. I love you. Bye for now. Bye-bye.